Hey. Hey, hello. How's it going, Dr. Allen? It's going very good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking the time to uh, to join in and talk about this. It's awesome. My first time. The camera set up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> it was easy, though, right? Yeah. Good. Hi to Dennis in Canada. Awesome. We got people from all over the world. Very cool. So as I was saying, yeah, I want to... I, um, ask Dr. Hilton if he would, would mind giving some of his time so that we can talk today. Um, Dr. Hilton is a dermatologist and um, he knows a lot about this company, Gloves in a Bottle, and it's a lotion company. And I thought this was a good chance for us to talk about moisturizing and lotion in general with all the hand washing we're doing and sanitizing and how we can keep our skin healthy. So, um, Dr. Helton, I'll, I'll leave it to you for a second if you want to go ahead and just tell us a little bit about yourself, um, your background, how you got started in dermatology, and how you uh, ended up um, working with gloves in a bottle. I grew up in Michigan, uh, went to Michigan State University, and um, got into dermatology. I, I got a residency in California, so I'm still in California right now. It's kind of hard to move from getting out of that snow. It says, the guy from Canada can surely uh, attest to. Basically, I, I, I read about it when I was a resident because it was in, the, in a boating magazine. And uh, the way Gloves in a Bottle works is it provides a, a silicone layer to the top layer of the skin um, that maintains all the body's moisture on the inside. So, you know, part of the problem we have in dermatitis is that people are stripping off their, their protected layer. And then that allows the environment to get in and cause havoc. So usually as a dermatologist, you'd have to write a prescription in order to, in order to take care of that, you know, like a steroid to help decrease inflammation. But, you know, as a holistic doctor, I'd like to do more in the way of prevention and, and try to avoid medications when I can. And um, that, that's where Gloves in the Bottle comes in. Very cool. So I've been using it about 20 years. It's still my favorite uh, barrier cream. Okay. So is that the primary difference you would say in gloves in a bottle from other lotions that are out on the market. I'm just trying to understand a little bit better. Is it the silicone yeah. layer? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, got, it's a unique formulation that's, that's designed to protect your skin from the environment. Most other lotions out there are, are composed of, you know, moisturizers, um, um, you know, shea butter, um, lanolin, uh, uh, petroleum, um, which are all good products that, unless you're sensitive to them. Um, I, the thing I like about gloves in the bottle is it, it lasts for four hours on your skin. So the problem with some of the other moisturizers is you can put them on, but you know, that after walking around for a bit, it seems to dry it out again and you have to reapply. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cool. In general, I mean, aside from gloves in a bottle, but just moisturizers and lotions in general, you know, not everyone has the same access, um, or they're just shopping online or their local stores. What, right. What types of things should they be looking for in our products? If I go to the store, what, what kinds of ingredients do I want to look out for? And then what, what kind of things do I want to avoid? Well, it depends on if you have sensitive skin or not. So, I mean, typically if you're, if, if you're seeking a moisturizer, chances are you have, you have sensitive skin. Um, you know, unfortunately, if you don't have sensitive skin, you can tolerate almost anything that's out there. Um, on the skin sensitivity side, um, you want things that have, uh, you know, less ingredients rather than more ingredients. Um, <laughs> lanolin is one of the ones that's a, that's a big offender that you want to watch out for because that's basically sheep's oil. Um, lanolin? Lanolin, yeah. Okay. I mean, that, that can be a, I mean, if you, if, you got, if you got allergic skin, you know, if you don't have allergic skin, you can, you can get away with it. You'll know pretty quickly whether you can handle the, the, whatever moisturizer there is out there. Um, the American Academy of Dermatology recommends mostly things that are um, like Vaseline type based. Okay, uh, Vaseline type based. Good to know. Um, why would you say that moisturizing is more important now with um, COVID-19 and, and staying at home and all of that going on? Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot of things happening out there right now. I mean, probably for the first time in history, people are washing their hands, you know, eight to 20 times a day. <laughs> um, you know, and, and typically you would only see that in, in like the medical profession who, who works with, you know, contaminated fluids and whatnot, but now everybody's doing it. And then we're spraying ourselves with alcohol. 
So we're drying our, our, our skin out. And by doing that, we don't have a, a natural resistant barrier that things are going to bounce off of. So things can actually absorb into our skin and cause us problems. Worse yet, if you get a crack in your skin, um, that allows you know, direct access for bacteria, some bacteria and virus to, to get into your body. So, you know, since COVID can live on the surface of, of an object, you know, up to a week in some situations, um, you know, if you've got breaks in your skin, that, that's not very beneficial. Is that something that uh, the silicone and gloves in a bottle would help also help prevent or does it not go that far? It's not gonna stop you from having bacteria enter an open wound. Um, um, but it's, um, it, I'm sorry, I got distracted by a flag on the screen there. It's, it's, <laughs> not, gonna, it's not gonna stop you from, um, from anything going into an open wound, but the key is not to get an open wound. Yeah. So, you know, if, you're, if your skin is so dry and cracked, gotcha. that's an open wound. Okay. So it's more preventative to keep your skin healthy so that you, you don't run into that situation. Yeah, very cool. Um, how frequently should I be moisturizing? After every single time I wash? Or you were saying that it's supposed to, it should stay on the skin for, for four hours, but if I wash, does it come off? Do I have to reapply? How does that work? Uh, yeah, we did studies on it. Uh, not we, the company did, and they shared it with me. Um, they, uh, they did studies on it and said that it pretty much holds its, its barrier for, for four hours. Um, so again, that's again one of the reasons why it's one of my more favorite compounds. So again, like Vaseline, you know, as soon as you wash your hands, you've wiped all that off again because that doesn't bond to the top layer. It just sort of sits on the top layer. Um, the, the nice thing about the gloves in the bottle is it, it, it electrostatically just a, a gets attached to the stratum corneum, which is the very top layer of the skin. Am I breaking up again? No, you're you're good. That's just really interesting. I never I never heard of like that it would bond to the skin like that. Yeah. Um, I do have a question here. I'm seeing from George Martinez. He said, uh, "Lotion at night? Do you recommend it?" Well, if you have dry skin, yes. Um, so, I mean, are, are you talking to your body? Are you talking on your hands? You know, typically with this COVID thing, when we're washing our hands, you know, more than twice a day, I, I, I would suggest moisturizing. You know, after each after each washing, if you're using gloves in a bottle, you can get away with doing it like every four hours. If you've got dry skin, then use moisture. So your body kind of tells you whether you need moisture or not. Um, if you don't have dry skin uh, on your body, then you don't really need moisturizer. If you do have dry skin, then you do. Fair enough. Um, and then I've got Natasha Juliana asking, when's the best time to moisturize? Well, you want to have dry skin when you moisturize, but what happens is, that, say you got out of the shower uh, and your skin has recently been wet, um, you want to dry it off and then lock that moisture in. So put it, put it on right after, right after bathing or right after washing. Okay. Um, and then Minelli is asking, what about those who have eczema? And that, that's my question too, because I, I don't have bad eczema, but I do get mild to... So you've got some medical words there. You've got eczema and then you've got dyshydrotic eczema. So they're, they're kind of different entities. So dyshydrotic eczema is basically when you get these little bubbles that form on... Uh, uh, the edges of your fingers and the edges of your feet um, and those bubbles get intensely itchy and then after four or five days they kind of dry up and, and, and fall off um, that's a medical diagnosis and there's not a lot of over-the-counter things that will help you ish so in my feeling on dyshydrotic eczema it's a reaction to the environment meaning your skin touched something that you were extremely sensitive to like i will get it if i if if the guy that washes my car uses a special fragrance on the steering wheel. I noticed that whenever I touched that steering wheel, all of a sudden I would react to that. And, and I needed to touch it once and I would react like three days later. So, so typically you're reacting to something that has a fragrance and that causes that, that dyshydrotic eczema. Um, now, if you use the gloves in the bottle, you can prevent that from entering your body. Um, or if you use the moisturizer, you have a less chance of that entering the body. Uh, in both situations, the less chance of entering the body, but the best chance is to avoid it. And then once the ball starts rolling, you have to kind of use medical steroids to kind of control it. As far as eczema goes, eczema is a reaction to the environment where, where your skin is just super sensitive and dry. Um, and, and again, it's, it's, it's known in, in the dermatology world that um, the, the skin barrier is broken in that situation. So moisturizers are extremely helpful in, in, um, in the eczema situation. 
you know, it's, it's, it, it's meant for the hand. So it's, I, I don't usually recommend it for the face. So, um, you know, latex gloves are, are meant to be used by medical professions for moments. Um, you know, we walk into a room, we're taking care of a patient, wearing the gloves, then we take them off and then we wash our hands before we put on the next pair of gloves to go into the next patient's room. A lot of people are out there wearing gloves for like four to five hours at a time. The downside with that is, you know, you're locking other moisture inside inside your, your body and you're putting it into a hyperhydrotic state, which which basically sucks all the water out of, you, out of, out of your hands and, and dries it out. So gloves are good for like short term, like if you're pumping gas and you wanna use it there, if you're using it at the, at the grocery store, perhaps. Um, personally, I don't wear gloves on the outside. Um, I just, you know, keep my skin later intact. Um, and, you know, wash my hands after, after I've touched something that's questionable or I spray it with alcohol after I've touched something that's questionable. Back to the eye thing, uh, you know, eye creams are specifically made for the eyes. Um, you know, people think wrinkles around the eyes are caused from uh, dryness. And that's true in the short term, but in the long term, it's, it's due to uh, loss of collagen, generally sun exposure. So if you put too thick of a moisturizer around the eyes or a moisturizer that was not meant for the eyes, you'll get a bunch of plugged pores. Um, and those will look like little bumps, um, which are kind of annoying um, and you know not that easy to get rid of. So when you're using an eye cream, make sure you're using something that's formulated just for the eyes. Um, don't go for the heaviest stuff that there is out there because it'll, it'll cause you problems. So to touch on gloves in a bottle one more time, um, where can people find this product, either uh, in person or online, probably online is better at this point. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a, a boutique company. Um, sometimes it's found in certain certain uh, drugstores. Um, you know, it started in the hardware biz business, um, then it moved into the drugstores. Um, uh, probably the easiest place to find it is online at, at uh, glovesinabottle.com. And it's also available on Amazon. Okay, Amazon. Someone just asked Amazon. <laughs> Good. Um, well, so, something yeah. to know about. Something to know about using it. It's not like your typical moisturizer. What's going to happen is you're going to apply it, and it's going to feel like it's really wet. Um, and you're going to rub it in. You're going, wow. I think I applied. I think I put too much on. Um, and what you do is you just rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, and then after about thirty to sixty seconds, it dries, and then you don't even know it's there anymore. Very cool. Let me see. I like a liquid glove. Yeah, uh, Dr. Helton was saying it's, it gives you a, protect, a little bit of protection, silicone protection that's absorbed in the top layer of skin. Um, but I, my understanding, it's not meant to replace the gloves, correct? No, but, you know, gloves aren't really recommended if your skin's intact. So, or, or you know, if you're, if you're going into like a highly contaminated environment, then yeah, go ahead and wear the gloves. But in general, you know, if your skin's intact, you're going to you're going to protect yourself. The, the problem with wearing gloves is, again, it, it'll dehydrate your skin. Because, you know, when you take gloves off, your hands are all sweating and all, all moist. So that's sucking all the moisture out of your skin, which then goes to making your skin feel dry. Um, so, you know, gloves are meant to be used for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes at a time, not, not a six to eight hour period or even an hour period, the way people are using oh, yeah. it. You know, you know, everybody's worried about the virus. The, the virus basically, it's either going to enter your body through the nose, uh, the mouth, or the eyes. If you have a glove on and you think you're being protected, and then you accidentally touch your face, you haven't protected yourself at all. Um, yeah. So for me, I think it's, uh, you know, I would, ra I would rather, I recommend my, my patients to use moisturizer as opposed to, as opposed to actual rubber gloves. Um, uh, you know, I, 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 and I think I think the CDC goes along those lines as well. Yeah. And um, recently, I noticed that you guys had uh, uh, donated sixty thousand samples of gloves in a bottle to doctors and hospitals. So that's really cool. Awesome that you guys are helping in that front. So that's why it was doubly important for me to not only talk about this, but also rep you guys a little bit. You know, you know the great and thing about that is, uh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but the, the great thing about that is it's not just that we donated it, it's that, you know, the, the healthcare professionals are actually asking for it. So, you know, that's another attribute to how, how, how great that it works. Yeah, very cool. Well, thank you so much for, for taking some time out to talk with me today and share this helpful information with everybody. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, it's been fun. All right. Take care. Thank you.